we're going to go through all the functions and stuff on them, and this is with the battery cut off in, in line. So the red cover toggle switch right here, that is main engine contact. That LED lets me know that the coil is powered. We're going to shut that off, it's not in play right now. On the throttle side grip, the throttle side housing is still here, but there's no switches inside of it. All these switches were garbage, so I just got rid of them. The front brake switch right now is non-functional because, well, the switch is non-functional. Until I can get a replacement, it's not in circuit right now, so I only have a brake light on the rear brake pedal. All the lights except the headlights are linked. All the lights are linked into a main toggle, and the headlight is on its own separate circuit off of that. So if I flip this beta power toggle right here, lights come on, and that will include my tail light, brake light, headlight on the sidecar, tail light and brake light on the sidecar, as well as giving power to both my horns and my turn signals. This is the low beam circuit. I have a green indicator light, and that's when the headlight is in low beam. High beam is the additional high beam circuit, and that's my high beam indicator. If I want, I can run with just the low beam off and just the high beam on. Pretty much as dim as this light is, that'll be daytime. Don't mess with me, Johnny Law. I have a headlight on running mode. That'll be daytime so I can, or nighttime so I can actually see the highway mode, and this allows me to run with no headlights but with legal lights. Over here on the turn signals, I have a box that has two locking relays and indicator lights. This allows me to turn on a turn signal, and then I have a flashing indicator letting me know that light is on. And it'll stay on until I push the button. That allows me to run with both systems running so I have a four-way flasher system, and then I can shut them off. have to push them again to shut them off. And then the horn is there.